Good morning, everybody. So today is Friday, and I am headed, it's early in the morning to, oh, I left my watch. I never leave my watch, crap. Um, I want my watch. <laughs> Let me go get my watch, hold on, y'all. All is well, got my watch. So, um, it's 8.30 in the morning. I'm headed to Trader Joe's to go get some groceries because I have a three-day trip starting today. You know, usually I don't know my trips too far in advance because I am on reserve and they usually call us two hours ahead of time to let us know that we have a trip. But I did pref bid, which I always pref bid. I just don't usually get a trip because I'm so junior compared to all these senior people in my company. Um, I ended up with a trip. So, let me just tell y'all exactly what pref bidding is. And sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. I'm waiting for my Uber to come get me, to take me to the grocery store. Um, but pref bidding basically is, so we get on online and look at all the trips in open time and you're able to bid for a trip. So there's two different type of biddings that I can do while I'm on reserve. So I can um, do first come, first serve bidding, which is what I would do if I was off, like actually off. Uber came, got me to Trader Joe's, so let's shop. I think I was um, telling y'all exactly what a pref bid is. So the difference, so there's two pref bids that I can do. So I can do first come, first serve, which is what I would do on my off days. And then there's reserve open time. So that's, and these are usually the same trips as the first come, first serve. They're just in two different categories. So reserve open time means if I'm scheduled reserve like I was today, I had a four day block. So today's Friday. On yesterday, or really you can bid for these trips at any point in time, but it's kind of silly to bid for them like way ahead of time because they don't, um, they don't let you know if you've been awarded the trip until about one o'clock the day prior to the trip and these trips are going to be based on seniority so that's why it's never really a rush to um, pick up these trips um, and it's always best to, and so the window closes at 12 p.m the day before to pick up the trip so usually i like to get on the computer around 11 30 11 45 to see if there's been any last minute trips added um, and then try to pick up stuff so that's what i did yesterday um, I got on the computer um, and I bid for about 10 trips and I actually got awarded one of them. So I started a three day trip today. It's not really the best trip. It's just um, EWR turns to MCO, which is um, New Jersey to Orlando. Um, I have two New Jersey layovers and basically we just do turns back and forth through Orlando to New Jersey for the two days. I mean for the three days it's like two legs a day so it's not really a hard trip either but I mean it's not like anything super exciting I don't really think there's anything great to do in New Jersey if you live in New Jersey please let me know what is out there to do close to the airport or not even close because I think I have one layover 16 hours and the other one is 13 hours so I have a little time to get out and go see but I just don't know what exactly there is to go see in New Jersey so Please comment down below if you live there and tell me some spots to go to. Um, yeah, like obviously I can go to the mall and shop and things like that, but I kind of, you know, I like to venture out in the cities and see what they have to offer. Um, I feel like I was going to tell y'all something else. I don't remember. 
but yeah hopefully I explained that well enough um, open time reserve is based on seniority and you find that out the day before the trip and then first come first serve is based on whoever bids for first and usually that should get awarded to you immediately so um, oh that's what I was gonna say so this trip is not gonna put me over guarantee so some people don't really like picking up trips if it's not gonna put them over guarantee me personally I still do it especially if it has um, long um, layovers and stuff like that simply because I need per diem on my checks so you can sit there and collect your 75 hours of guarantee without flying at all in one month and some people are satisfied with that um, me not so much especially with the holiday seasons coming up and I'm planning some vacations so I want my checks to be as nice as I can get them so even though this trip I think is gonna put me at 53 hours for the month so I would have to technically be over 75 hours to pass my guarantee so it's still just gonna go towards my bucket of um, guarantee hours 75 but it is gonna add those extra coins onto the check because I'm gonna get per diem um, and whoever knows whatever whatever happens on this trip if there's any delay time or who who knows what could happen but basically when you're flying anytime you're actually flying you're always gonna make more money than what your guarantee check normally is so our per diem is 250 um, an hour so you know I have quite a few hours on this trip that will go towards per diem so that's gonna make my check look nice so that's why I pick up trips or at least I try to pick up trips I think I ended up going a little crazier in Trader Joe's than I anticipated, but it is what it is. It's groceries. At least I'm not going out to a restaurant and eating every day. So I spent about, what was it, like $86 on groceries, which is what I would probably spend in like a few days just trying to find a good meal. So I'm going to kind of put some of this stuff up and... Um, meal prep it or separate it because there's really nothing to cook everything is just to be warmed up um and then pack my bag get ready for my trip um i'm flying out of laguardia today which is not my favorite airport it's just there's not a free shuttle to laguardia like we have to jfk from this neighborhood that i'm in in cute gardens so I have to call a Lyft or an Uber to get there. And the traffic, just getting there all the time is so bad. Um, they don't have like a nice crew lounge or anything like that. So I'm going to get there in just enough time to check in and get to the aircraft and meet my crew, do our briefing, do our pre-checks, all that, and get going. I'm not going to get there too early and play like I would you know, if I was going to JFK. Pizza, y'all. Forgot I bought that. Got some salmon, got some tilapia. The butter. Our snacks. Some juices. Those are just gonna stay here. I'm not taking those with me. Obviously, like, I'm just gonna take up my whole lunch kit. And my yogurt. My handy dandy e bags lunch kit. I don't know if I ever showed y'all this, but I ended up buying a Hot Logic off of Amazon, and it's really neat. It's just like a little hot plate in here, and it warms up your food, and it's easy to travel with. So this is it. You just plug it in, and this gets semi-warm, and 
I used it the other day for the first time. I realized that it doesn't get super, super hot, but it does get your food warm enough for you to eat it. And it took about 30 minutes to warm up my food. So I'm definitely going to bring this with me again. Sometimes some of our plants don't have um, power outlets. There's the word. So hopefully I'll be able to use it. If I was on the E90, I wouldn't even bring it because the E90s don't have power outlets at all. Some of our 320s do, some don't. So let's hope that I look up. I can kind of check and see which aircraft we're going to be on. But, you know, things always change last minute. So I'll check anyway to see. But if not, then I'll just have to figure out something else. So we've made it to Orlando. And we have a little bit of a sit, so we came down to one of the, the crew lounges here. Orlando is another one of our bases, so everywhere we have a base, we have a crew lounge. And I'm eating some of my food that I made. Looky so I kind of already started attacking my fish before I showed y'all, but it's um, mushroom risotto with some tilapia. Nothing special, but it's going to fill my belly and I ain't got to spend no extra money. So, special moment. I am on the first plane that my company ever bought. And I can definitely tell that she is an old diva baby. Her name is Christine. And there are some things that just look completely different. But time to board. Bye. Good morning. I woke up this morning so confused. Like, it literally took me a good two and a half minutes to remember where I was. OMG. But I'm in Elizabeth, New Jersey. It is like 8 48 50 a.m. We got in last night like around midnight, went to bed like around 1 1 2 ish. So I got enough rest, but I don't think that had happened yet. Like, I literally didn't know where I was. Like, I had to pull out my phone and double check to make sure I was somewhere, anywhere. Um, but, anyways. I'm gonna go get a little workout in. So we have a double layover in New Jersey. So today is our longer one, so I might um, have a really nice mall out here, I hear some, or it's just really close to the hotel that we stay at or something. So I might go over there and just go shop a little bit, maybe. And, um, I might go to the movies with one of my crew members. I don't really know, I don't really do the movies that often. I just prefer to watch it on TV when it comes out. So, let me go work out. Talk to y'all later. <sighs> Had a great workout, a really good breakfast. Now I'm headed down to go eat meat with Eric, one of my crew members. We're gonna go to the movies. I don't even know what we're seeing. Haven't been to the movies in a very long time, but I'm going, because I'm bored. Hey, everybody. Hello, hello, hey, everybody. This is Eric. How are crew. you? So where are we? We are in Orlando. Orlando. We yep. have about an hour sit in between our flight from back to New Jersey. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to introduce y'all. So Eric, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Okay. How long have you been with the company? 13 years. 13 long years. Yes, 13 long years. years. The time flies, let me tell you. It goes by pretty fast. So what do you enjoy most about the career? Uh, the flexibility. If I don't work, have want to work tomorrow, I don't have to work. I can design my own schedule monthly. I can do two weeks on, two weeks off. I can do three days on, four days off. However I want to design it. Uh, that's what I like about the job most, the flexibility. Well, that's key from 13 years. 13 years senior, can't get any better than yeah. that. Yep. Yeah. Well, there y'all have it. Bye, y'all. Take care. Bye, y'all. We're about to board. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> this trip honestly hasn't been like bad at all. Oh, my room is right here. Up close. Yeah, so we have a shorter layover tonight. Our van time is like, oh, the struggle. Our van time is like 1.40 p.m. Um, cracked a nail working today, so I might just run across the street again to that huge mall and see if I can find a nail shop in there to fix my nail because I hate when they look ratchet while working. But anyways, guys, I'm going to bed. Good night. So I woke up to stock Flickr to see if there's anything that I can pick up for my next block. 
and there's not. So my next block starts Tuesday the 24th. If I go and check open time, there's nothing here. There's one trip for the 23rd one tri and two trips for the 28th and everything else is in November. So I still have a few days for people to drop their trips like the day of and, and hopefully pick up something like I did for this trip. But I just like to check early. But then again, it really doesn't make any sense to check early. I'm just bored.